hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another chit chat get ready with me by osmo stuff i happen to be osmo stuff i do really really thank you guys for joining me on this video and clicking on this thumbnail and listening to my covid experience um i did realize because i'm doing this after the look so i did realize that in the beginning i did rent a little bit i had a little rent about yeah you guys will see it so i know a lot of people are gonna say oh my god just get to the point already so i do rent in the beginning of the video and then my video starts quite late but the rent is worth it i feel like people should hear me out because i also have a voice as a human being in this country but anyway um <laughs> i hope you guys do like this uh video please do comment please do subscribe please do like my video and yeah do you guys see the quality Unmesh is giving us because is not causing do you see it do you see it okay yeah papa now but anyway um uh thank you guys so so much please uh enjoy the video please also remember i am not a medical professional nothing that i said in this video is is a a, a prescription or, or 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 a consultation or or, or or all those shins that they do none of it is i am just telling you guys my experience how, what happened how uh we dealt with covid and all of that yeah love you guys to the moon and back and to the moon again and back please do comment i love hearing from you guys am i rambling am i talking too fast now i'm sorry slow it down slow it down the video <laughs> slow it down the video i'm so i'm so okay bye <laughs> So anyway, as you guys can see, I have individual lashes on. Um, I've had them for a week now. And you see this one, this sharp one here, its partner came out this side. So I know it looks a little weird. And one thing about you guys is you're going to tell me, Diana's, you're going to comment, but I bow your lashes. I see it. And I see. I see it and I have to go fix them soon. It's just that Bram is far. Bram is, if we're being honest, if we're being honest, Bram is really far. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm going to be telling you guys about um, our COVID experience while doing my makeup. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys like what we went through, how it was, um what we learned from it and all of that uh, i'm in no way giving any medical advice or um how can i put it yeah i'm in no way giving any medical advice yes i'm a vits graduate with a vits degree but it's not in medicine <laughs> it's not in medicine so i will refrain from giving medical advice but if it sounds like it's medical advice it's not this is the disclaimer but it's not medical advice um what else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, so I'll be doing my makeup while telling you guys that because I have to get ready for a dinner party, a birthday dinner. Um, dinner or lunch, it's actually at 3. The dinner is at 3. Please look at the time. It's 2. So I have an hour to do this and get dressed. Tricky, but we shall do it. Um, my lips are dry let's fix my lips first so one thing about you guys in the comment section no you guys genuinely don't hold back like so i'm using my pattern i told you guys that i generally ooh, now i'm doing this but it's not focusing why is it not focusing it usually focuses on other people but anyway i use my pattern for my lips i told you guys in my skincare routine video that i use the pattern on my lips so it's gonna look white in the beginning, but it's going to make sense in the end. But you see, one thing about you guys in my comment section, you don't hold back, I'm that say. You genuinely don't hold back. Um, you don't, you're not worried how your comment will be received. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. Is this eyebrows or eyelashes? It's eyebrows, eyebrows, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. You're genuinely not worried if your comment is going to hurt the next person or not. Like, like you don't have any stresses in this life and i think people forget that we are also human 
yes we are on the screen sharing our lives with you guys and all of that and all of that but i genuinely do not think that that is a, a, an invitation to be mean and also people usually like in my dms people will say something mean and then i'm like or i said a question mark and they're like oh my gosh i didn't think you'd read that why did you send it you understand why did you send it you know so in a with comments i feel like people think maybe we're not gonna read the comments sorry i'm derailing now but i think i need to get this off my chest before i even start doing my makeup i mean doing my story my ex covid experience because i feel like if i do my covid experience without letting this out of my chest i will not be genuine with you guys it will be a fake interaction and i need to get it off my chest i genuinely feel like i need to get it off my chest so people have been commenting a lot on my previous video which is the plague um also oh, they corrected me apparently it's not a plague it's a plug sounds like plague to me as a its graduate i think it's a plague but good try plug where i was unboxing my plug and it was my first video with my camera and people were like yeah your makeup looks so horrible your makeup looks so horrible um your makeup looked better on on the thingy on a phone than on a camera it looks really horrible um you must um i think you should like go to a school for makeup so you can like uh do your makeup better dun 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 first and foremost la video was not about makeup Last video, I was showing you guys our plague or plaque or whatever. I was showing you guys something that we had accomplished together. But anyway, I'm going to say makeup. That video was not about makeup. Yes, my face was on the screen and my makeup was there. But that video was not about makeup at all. And if you had focused on the makeup and it was so bad. The makeup, you could not keep it to yourself. You had to let me know. I feel like you really, really could have looked away. Ortimela, close your eyes. You understand? I'm not going to say don't watch because I really do appreciate your guys' views. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. So I'm not going to say don't watch. Please do watch. But if we are bother at first glance, my makeup here is so bad that you can't even continue looking. Close your eyes or look away. I always put such a cute plant behind me. Look at the plant. Look at the plant, Mdasi. Because it makes up the step so much. You understand? And I feel like when I do my makeup, my eyes are not closed. Is there someone in the house? Sorry. As I was saying. In the city, I feel like I do my makeup and I am fully aware that I'm doing my makeup. Like now, I'm doing my eyebrows. I can see them, Espilini. I can see them. Do you understand? So if you are going to come and say to me, no, I don't like your eyebrows, surely you 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 can comprehend in Doyokba. I did them on my face, so I like them. Nah, you understand that? I'd understand if it was your makeup. Sorry if I'm shouting. I'm just Moya. Hi hi. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Did you, I would understand if I was your makeup artist and I was doing your face and you're like, hey, oh yeah, these eyebrows are really horrible. Or this contour, because big a contour and a highlight yam, and that my forehead is too dark. I did that. I was in front of the mirror and I was like, I want this part darker than this part. Come on, I did that. But I don't buzz up. It wasn't a mistake. I'm gonna stop talking for actually. It wasn't a mistake. Like I did it on purpose. Pam kwe spili. Zinizi spili glomz. Din bali selem na. Dula is spili as zinizi. Do you understand? So ndi I born. I can see it. And I'm gonna be so lazy to put subtitles. Let me actually speak English. So okay. Anyway, enough with my rant. Actually, I'm not done with my rant because I don't understand. To genuinely. I genuinely don't understand. For an example, exhibit A, I don't like pink lipstick. Do you understand? 
I don't like pink lipstick. I don't understand it. And yeah, yeah, I'm confused, man. Like I don't understand its existence in this life. Why is the pink make pink lipstick? You understand? And it personally looks horrible on me. I think maybe that's why I don't like it. You know, influence your but it looks bad. It doesn't look cute on me. So I genuinely don't like pink lipstick. But I do not. I wouldn't be walking in a mall and Kona Umtu who has pink lipstick and I walk up to them and I'm like hi how are you actually I really don't like your lipstick what is that what is that do you understand I wouldn't just walk up to a random stranger and tell them hey I really don't like your lipstick because that's how I felt I was not talking you see this video this video I'm doing my makeup you're more than welcome to be like hey I do not like how you did this or whatever 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 that video was not about makeup it genuinely was i'm looking at myself instead of so, you guys sorry it genuinely was not about makeup so you can't just man i man i man guys let's genuinely respect each other let's like be nice to each other because i don't think there's ever a time where i have spoken to you guys in a tea i'm walking down a mountain i directly translated that i don't know if it will even make sense but so I don't think it's fair just because I am on the other side of the screen that somebody else will talk to me in that manner or say such things to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm being sensitive because I am a sensitive person. Maybe I'm being sensitive and I'm thinking too much about it, but it did hurt my feelings. And if something does hurt my feelings, then I feel like it's justified because it's my feelings. It's essentially when I'm. But I feel like, yo... And I would name and shame there, but I don't think that is like necessary. I just feel like if you don't like my makeup, that say, Nancy, I plant. Please look at the plant. Continue watching, please, please continue watching. But Nancy, I plant. Okay, sorry. Now that my rant is done, <laughs> now that I'm done ranting, let's get into the story well into the experience i don't know why i keep calling it a story because it's not a story time it's like about the covid experience anyway so um this was last year november we are in august of 2021 and we got covid in november 2020 2020 i almost say 2022 just in november 2020 um so this has been a long time coming like i've been saying i'm going to tell you guys about our covid experience i'm going to tell you guys about our covid experience and then i just never got to it but i feel like this is also the perfect time now considering um that vaccines for our age group are open and you know people some people don't want to go get vaccinated. Some people do want to go get vaccinated. And velekeshem akomdu ono forstwa, you understand, to go vaccinate or whatever. Because people have their own information. For example, I believe a certain thing about uh, the vaccine. Some people believe other things about the vaccine. And for lack of a better term, each to their own. I'm saying lack of a better term because it's genuinely not each to their own because they are not living on an island they are genuinely living with us on this island that we call uh, africa it's a continent oh yeah, it's a continent on this continent that we call a uh, Af it's actually a world wide pandemic it's not only african but niandivanzamutinue to masiyeki english do you understand you guys understand what i'm trying to say so in so in 2020 november um there's a car that just started outside i don't know if you guys will be able to hear that and it will disturb my sound or not if it does i highly highly apologize so last year november end of october last year end of october um mechanic started complaining that uh he has a flu and tinage were always masked up always had our masks on 
um washed our hands kept social distance all of that like everything that they they recommend that you do we did it do you understand so best thing by highway too covid is not something that's gonna happen you know because we we're like genuinely careful like genuinely and at the slightest so because i'm unemployed i used to, it was lockdown so i'd be at home the whole time but he would go to work so when he comes back from work because he was exposed to being around people and whatnot he'd come home and take his supplement not supplement is it a supplement acc 200 is, a, is it not a supplement what is it and it's like that you put it in water and then the water bubbles up it's not a supplement but you guys know what acc 200 is um so he'd come home take his acc 200 and yeah, wanna add it right and take um what was the vitamin C? But something had vitamin C that he'd take, but he'd take this whole concoction just to be safe, you understand? So okay. Okay, let me just shape these because I don't think I can talk and shape these. Let me shape my eyebrows. Okay, yeah. So now that I'm done with my eyebrows, one looks higher than the other. I just find the I'm ninja the whole day. But it's fine. Uh when sitting in a I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow because I don't wanna be cleaning none of this mess. So yeah. Um I'm now going to do my face. So I'm going to prep and prime. So okay, um mechanic then suddenly says, Man, he's feeling a bit fluish, yeah bo. And I'm like, no man, take like because I oh COVID, yes, COVID was like something that's happening in the world. But I thought we were like so careful that it was the furthest thing from my mind. Like it was the furthest thing from my mind. I'm like, no man, um, take your ACC 200 and your whole concoction, you'll be fine, yeah, Um, What? He, he wasn't coughing, but he had a, I think he had a blocked nose in the beginning. But he was feeling fluish and he had one symptom. I think it was, it wasn't coughing. He wasn't coughing. It was... I think it was a blocked nose. Okay. Hi, I see and he's feeling a bit fluish, he's feeling a bit fluish. And I'm like, no man, take your concoction, you'll be fine, never. I think Bavel it's something that's going to pass. Like it's it can't be that serious, you know. Okay, cool. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. Okay, cool. Life goes on, life goes on. About two days later. Hi mechanic is always tired like he's always tired like we don't understand why he'd like come home from work and like he's exhausted and even at work he'd like text me on some yo i am so tired like i don't know what's going on okay so now i'm gonna use the maybelline uh super stay in the color uh chestnut ne? yeah 64 chestnut why is it not focusing focus focus damn it your oh, answer doesn't isn't so he like even takes me while he's at work and he'd be like yo brah like i'm exhausted like i'm tired yeah, well, guys when i tell you that covid was still so far covid was still so far from my mind yeah well so he says, yeah, he's a bit, he's always tired. Dun, 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 dun. He'd even, he even bought these um, energy supplements so it could boost his energy so he could at least go to work. Hi, son. Okay. And then, I don't know why he tested. I think he suspected. He suspected that he has COVID. So he took a COVID test in the morning. Guys, by like two it came the results came back result is it positive result is it positive yo covid uh detected dun dun positive results and it's figuring the sms because we used um starts with an a what's that lab it's not lab lancet is it lancet a empath empath we used empath and empath is, was like quick then it was quick i don't know why it was so quick but you'd get like your results like now it was literally a four hour wait 
Zati i results is got brother positive. His results came back positive and we're like, yo, you have COVID. So now I started contacting everyone that we were around, his friends. We were around his friends, ne? He started telling everyone that he was around that yo, I might have in I might have passed on COVID to you because I have COVID. Okay, people then obviously were like now looking at their symptoms and they're like, no, we're fine, we're good, we don't have anything, whatever, whatever, whatever. And he was just like, yo, just like stay at home for a few days just to be sure. Don't 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 you don't get along that we are supposed to be doing. So Ngoku Umdu is positive and obviously if he's positive, I'm positive. I spent 90% of my time next to him. You understand? And again, like in the or affectionate, so I'm always all up in his face. So I definitely pro also probably have it. Yeah, bo? But I'm, not, I'm fine. I have no symptoms. I don't have a flu. I don't have nothing. Yeah, bo? But he's like tired. He's fatigued. He has fatigue. Hi, okay. okay. Um, cool. He lets them know at work that, hey, I tested positive for COVID. Dun, 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 dun. so he won't be going into work for 14 days so obviously if he has it i definitely also have it so i will also now be quarantining for 14 days cool cool hi okay so how i found out i have covid um so the department of health called him for statistic reasons they called him and where do you stay who do you stay with whatever whatever and it was like i stay with my partner and they're like yeah for uh statistic reasons um can she also go test uh because yeah yes she's probably also positive but we have to have it on record that she's also positive so we're like okay so the next day savoka and guys when i tell you nah, i was fine i was in tip top shape do you understand i was having the time of my life Guys, when we woke up the next day when I was supposed to go test, guys, yo, he got worse. Like, he was so bad. I remember that morning he woke up to go use the bathroom. And... Sorry. He woke up to go use the bathroom. And it was such a mission because he was so fatigued. He was so tired. He woke up, got to the bathroom and he was going to like, you know, men stand. He sat down because he was so tired. And guys, when I tell you, this is the bed. Yeah, this is the bed. This is the bed. I'm pointing at the bed. This is the bathroom. Do you understand that it's like not even a 30 second walk. It's a one, two second walk. It's like, okay, one, two, three, four six steps to go to the bathroom guys he couldn't wafika he sat down and he was so tired and i'm not guys i'm a chatty person hey now i like to chat so i'm asking him are you fine like i'm i'm okay i'm like all right and you can see even talking is a mission like he's tired even talking is like so much work for him hi okay shabu we get ready so that I can go test, guys. He would go to the kitchen. Sorry. He would go to the kitchen for like, let's say a glass of water. He'd go to the kitchen for something. I figure a kitchen. He'd take out a chair and sit down. Guys, we don't live in a big house. Why are you hooting while I'm recording? We don't live in a big house. It does not take you that long to get to the kitchen. It's literally right there. Do you understand? He'd walk to the kitchen, he'd get tired. I feel like pants. And this is before he even gets to the fridge or whatever he's going. Like he just entered the kitchen and he'd, he was so tired. Even talking, you could see that like he doesn't want to finish his sentences because he's exhausted from talking. You understand? Hi, okay, girl. Yo, guys, these lashes tend to step if we're being honest. okay oh my brother eventually got himself together we got ready and 
I think this is before, and I'm ashamed to say shame. I'm ashamed to say that at this point, I was just, I didn't understand what he was going through. So he tell me that like he's tired and whatnot. And I'd just be like, bro, just walk. Like, let's just go, you know? And I think it's because, you know, I know him as a person and I know he's very energetic, very active and all of that. So him not being active was foreign to me. And we are jokesters. Mnana and I like joking and whatnot. So I keep making jokes and be like, he'd be like, I'm so tired. I can't walk, whatever. And I'd be like, just put one foot in front of the other. Surely it's not that hard to walk, you know? I would not be taking it seriously. I get, uh, we got ready for me to go and go get to go get tested. Um, we got in the car. Yo, he I think he had energates on him. He had taken two energates, guys. It was even hard for him to pick up an energate and put it in his mouth. Like he was going through the most. And at this point, like I'm just like, you know, making jokes and so my boat. I don't know, two years old, you know, I'm making jokes about it. But I'd like open up the thingy for him and put it on his mouth and he'd drink it. And he was so, so tired. So, uh, to go to the, what do you call this place? To go to the lab, I um, drove, right? And I was having, I was... I, I'm fine, was Andy Guli, you know, and I haven't taken his ghouling seriously at this point. So I'm having the time of my life. I was playing music, rapping, singing along, just having fun. And I kept looking at him and singing to him, and he'd just be looking at me like. I'm sure if he could pock on me, he'd probably be like, ma'am, like, can you just shut up, you know? But I was like, Having the time of my life, can't umduam weapa. Can't up baby, weapa. So we get to the lab and he's like, he'll stay in the car and I must go get my test. And I'm like, no, it's fine. Like I don't mind. So I go inside, I go to the lab thingy, and this was our second time testing for COVID because we had traveled during COVID to Durban, if you guys remember who called me why is my dad calling me so we had uh, traveled um, to Durban to go visit um, a friend who just had a baby so it was our second COVID test okay the first one they stuck it up my nose and it was really uncomfortable but the second one now where i was going to actually test because he had covid they put it in my mouth and they put it right there by that thing that dangles that thing they put it there i call it my tonsils but apparently those are not your tonsils so i won't repeat that on camera that i call it tonsils so um we got there and i took i went inside alone and i got tested and it was a lady um and i left and then on the way back, guys, we hadn't even gotten home yet. I'm still fine, most. I'm still in tip-top shape. I'm singing along in the car. I'm just having fun. SMS, clink, clink. Positive. My results came back positive. And I'm like, yeah, I knew it. So that's fine. I, I, I knew that if he has it, then I definitely have it. So when the test came back positive, I was just like, I looked at my phone and I showed him, I'm like, oh, my results are back. Because like, yeah, I knew that I have it. When we got here, so remember he had told his colleagues that we have COVID and he can't come to work. So his colleague had decided to come uh, bring us food and med, med, med uh, why am I repeating that? And medicine, right? So when we got to the gate from the testing, she was already at the gate. And this is where I was like, okay, sh like this is real. Like shit is real. I am COVID positive. Is it COVID positive? I have the COVID virus, whatever. 
when she stepped out the car and she put everything it was a box it was a big box of like frozen foods that we just warm up and eat and um some medicine she put it on the floor she got back in her car started her car and left and i was like you're not even gonna wait for me to get out the car and i was like oh she can't like i can't be in contact with her i'm positive now you know in my head i'm like bro i even have the mask on what's the problem like why you gotta be like that you know and then i was like oh I have COVID, so okay, whatever. So we take, uh, I take the box, we go inside the house, shampoo. Um, now it's real now. Now I'm telling my people, I'm like, yo, guys, I have COVID, I have Corona, I'm dying, I got the virus, shit is real, you know? I'm like genuinely telling people now. And like, shame. Um, most of my friends were like, oh my god, you got COVID? Blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Most of the, some of them were just like, no, you'll be fine, Chumi, don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm like, I'm not worried. Like, I'm good. I don't have any symptoms. I'm good. I was just letting you guys know that I got COVID, you know? So, yo, oh, guys, Ingati, after I found out, that's when my symptoms started. <laughs> after I got the test, that's when my symptoms started. Yo! Oh, Guys, my sinuses, and I don't do sinus. I don't have sinuses, like, you know, those, I don't have that. Now, my sinus never bothers me. Like, my sinuses never, ever bother me. But all of a sudden, so it wasn't the normal sinuses that everybody has, those sinuses. It was, so my sinuses would act up so bad. But in their acting up, um, they would just not want, like, my nose would not want air. Am I making sense? My nose would tell me, like, stop breathing. I don't want to breathe anymore. Like, so what would happen is, and it still happens, like, I still have that symptom. And valid, some COVID symptoms never go away. You'll have them, that like, they stay there. And how many months has it been since November that I still have that thing? That So what would happen, sorry, I'm diverting. What would happen is my nose would decide, hmm, oi, the air you're breathing in is too cold. I don't want it. And like, it would be normal air, guys, like normal air, like the air that I'm breathing in now. But my nose, it would be too cold for my nose. And in it being too cold, it would be so sharp that it would go to my um, head that I'd have a headache. So breathing in caused me a headache. Like, if I were to breathe in, Jay, I'd have a headache. So, I then decided to always have a towel. I'd literally always have a towel on my nose. I, I couldn't just breathe just like this, Jay, normally, like other normal human beings. I had to have a towel over my nose to breathe in or breathe in with my mouth. But breathing in with my mouth would get so tiring, my lips would get dry and I'd just be annoyed. So, I just would put the towel so I could breathe in. And also breathing in with your mouth, man, at some point you forget that you are breathing in with your mouth. So I would just use the towel. And guys, when I tell you I slept with the towel, like I slept with the towel over my face like this so I could be able to breathe in my sleep. And what I also was coughing. I had like a cough. Um, mechanic didn't have a cough at all. He didn't have a cough. Um, I had a cough and I had the sensitive sinuses. I had what else did I have? Where's this brush? I had He no, that's it. Man. I think I had sensitive uh, breathing sensitive sinuses and Cough and I had a cough a dry cough ne? Yeah, I had a dry cough he on the other hand, had so many things going on. He was not okay, Shay. Like, he was not okay. He was not okay. He had fatigue. He had diarrhea. He had... What else did he have? He had fatigue. He had diarrhea. He had a sore throat. Yes. He had the worst the worst throat on this earth, the worst sore throat anybody has ever seen. Guys, he couldn't do anything. You know when I say anything? 
like he could not do anything he could not eat he could not talk it was painful and remember he has to take meds do you understand and in order for him to take meds where do the meds have to pass his throat so he hated when we had to take meds because they have to pass his throat and his throat is like really sore so what he'd do is before you take your meds you have to eat right and he can't eat because his throat is horrible so what he'd do is he'd take a painkiller first and remember the painkiller still has to pass your throat so he'd have take a painkiller and it would be like so 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 painful guys yo you know like it was so bad and i've never seen him like like in that much pain i've never seen him in that much like yo at some point he was like yo the lord can end it all it's fine <laughs> i'm like and what and what no can he not you know like it was so bad so he had that oh guys i want to show you this is the moronga cosmetics um contour blush and palette that i unboxed in my previous video i've been using this and i'm in love i'm in love 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 with one two and three. Oh god oh jesus so anyway um he would take a painkiller take his um take a painkiller chill for a little while for the painkiller to kick in once the painkiller has kicked in then he'd like eat his food and then after his food he had to like take meds guys when i tell you how much he had given up at some point he had a kit kat for breakfast he had a Kit Kat and I'm like, bruh, it's gonna hurt your throat. It's a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat is, it's rough. It has a, is it a wafer? I don't know. I'm not a chocolate person. I don't eat chocolate. Is it a wafer? Is it a biscuit? I don't know what it has inside. But I'm like, it's going to hurt your throat. Like, what are you doing? That Kit Kat is gonna hurt your throat. And he's like, I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, I don't care. It can hurt my throat. I don't care. I don't want, I, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore he's like at least it will make me happy even if it kills me i'll die a happy man i'm like ah, die die should not be in your vocabulary right now please who will you leave me with please please say eat your food eat your food like i force him to eat because your guys it was bad it was bad so okay um his symptoms actually lasted so long mine like after maybe five days they weren't that bad like the cough because the sinuses i still have like i get days where i'm just like yo this air is so cold the time she sang apparently it's so hot outside and i'm just like uh -uh, this air is too cold for my nose and do you guys know that band thingy that people usually put on on their head for makeup to protect their hair yeah i put it over my nose so i put that band thingy over my nose because it's tight, most it holds. And I so now I'm going to reverse contour. If I can find my beauty blender. Okay, so that was the experience. And after that, I think we have been so scared to catch it again. So initially, we were so scared to catch it because he has chronic, chronic asthma. Like he has really bad asthma. So we're scared that like if he catches it, yeah, it's not going to be cute. Like it's not going to be cute at all. And then when we got it, his asthma didn't actually act up at all. I'm the one who had like breathing problems. His asthma was like fine. But now we're like, okay, so if we got a chance at mercy the first time, we're not trying to test it again the second time, child. But he's vaccinated, thank God, because he's the one who had like really, really bad symptoms. He's vaccinated, so he's good. If he catches it again, his symptoms are not going to be as bad. And I pray to Jesus that he does not get it again, because I can't go through that again, child. Um, I haven't vaccinated as yet, but I soon will be vaccinated. And I will take you guys with me on the vaccination journey. <laughs> on my vaccination journey um i actually wanted to put some of my contour up here at least it's not 
eyeshadow it's just contour so i know you guys know that i don't like blush i am the biggest advocate for what am i doing i'm the biggest advocate for no blush worldwide i like how this side came out this side i'm not so sure so i don't do blush right but the moronga cosmetics had made have made me fall in love with this orange color so i kind of like touch i don't blush i touch my face going on with it and i think it looks cute so the meds we used um was the acc 200 um what's that thing that he likes so much advil advil he swears by advil guys like i don't know if they stopped producing advil what he do but like the minute anybody has like a mild flu or anything he'd be like advil take some advil take some advil um he swears by advil and i think it really helped us i think it really helped us i don't know if As I was saying, I don't know if I'm biased because my my person really swears by Advil or it actually really helped us, but it actually really helped us. Like me personally, I feel like I was blessed that I didn't have such drastic uh, symptoms. He did, but I'm glad he survived them. And I feel like this shows that i'm stronger than him because my immune system was stronger than his but we'll never hear him say that ever obviously but you and i know you and i you and i we know that my immune system is stronger than his i mean technically his is stronger now because he's vaccinated <laughs> he was stronger now but back then back then my immune system was much stronger than his because i was just looking at him and he was on his deathbed guys he was like on his last 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 test last you know and i was just like are you hungry must make you food you know um guys yo it was even hard to talk i think he still has the throat thing because he still uses what's that spray endolex spray for his throat and he clears his throat a lot so he still has the throat thing so some of the symptoms of covid actually never go away some people are quite lucky that they do uh, we weren't so lucky. We still have some of our symptoms, which is just those two. He's not fatigued. He's very energetic, very, very active. Um, I don't have a cough. Uh, and those were our symptoms. I hope he doesn't have diarrhea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, one thing that I would say though about COVID is guys, just because how can I put it? You are testing a man, so I don't know how to put it in English. Don't test with your eyes, yeah. Don't test with your eyes. You don't know. And rather to be safe, you don't know who has it. And some people don't have symptoms. Some people don't have symptoms. So they themselves don't know. For, for an example, for the longest time, I didn't know that I had it. He didn't know either. We thought it was like a normal flu for him. Now imagine if we didn't, if I was not around him and he had a flu separately and I was somewhere else and I had no symptoms. Do you understand? I, would, I wouldn't know that I have it. So rather stay masked up to make sure. Keep your mask on. Social distance, guys. You don't know strangers, hey? You don't know people, guys. I know someone from my neighborhood um at home who had covid like her and her husband had covid but he was still in the streets do you understand he was still out there so you won't know if the next person has it or not so rather you stay must up wash your hands sanitize do all of the things that they are asking us to do so we can get out of this ghetto guys need to go out and have fun all because of this stupid 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 deadly virus yeah so that was our experience and 
some people were not so lucky um we've lost friends uh friends have lost parents um we've lost family members i've lost family members he has lost family members too we've lost family members to this virus guys it came like a thief in the night i want to buy a guys it's a thief in the, but also he's talking about jesus when he's doing like a thief in the night so i don't think i should compare coronavirus to jesus now it sounds bad but guys corona came like a thief in the night nobody expected that this would be our guys it's a saturday today it's a Saturday today. If it wasn't for COVID, I'd be laughing lenses somewhere right now. Do you understand? I'd be living my best life. But here we are because of this stupid, stupid, stupid virus. Stupid virus that came and took so much from us. It took so much from us. And I really, really think that if it wasn't for COVID, I'd be employed. I would have a job. I really honestly believe not that I'm looking okay I am looking but like it's fine if I don't get one but some people are not that lucky do you understand some people genuinely need jobs and I feel like COVID is part of the reason why because there's been a lot of cut downs in companies and all of that and all of that this thing came like a thief there was a thief in the night guys if you feel sick go test for COVID don't say no I'll just isolate for a certain number of days blah 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 because after two days you would have forgotten you would have been out of the house you're not going to isolate for seven days just because you think you have the virus you're not going to do that the human mind as a qualified psychologist the human mind will not let you stay in the house for seven days just because you think you might have the virus please 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 you know very well what you're going to be jagatuling soon so please just go get this guys it's 850 rand at a private thingy lab but it's free at free at, 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 at the public hospitals it's free please just go get tested do the most okay guys thank you so so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching um i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope it was informative please please adhere to the lock to the regulation so that we can all stay alive and we can all party together in december or whenever uh, our father is going to open his country so please 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 guys i was just genuinely sharing my experience and what happened and how we dealt with everything um i oh one thing i forgot to say yo and this is important i forgot to say that we also took a sh uh, half a disprint every day because covid does clog is it COVID or is it one of the meds i think something i think it's one of the meds we would take or it covid clogs up your blood makes your blood thick so that makes you pr i think it's COVID. makes you prone to i think it's COVID because i did use it as an excuse to mechanic that no i want to drink alcohol because alcohol thins your blood and COVID thickens your blood and he was like that's not how this thing works so <laughs> um you take a we used to take half a discipline every day to thin our blood because uh once your blood thicks and clots thickens and clots then you are we will, are prone to all these diseases about heart attack is heart attack a disease all those things and 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 man i'm not a medical professional but you guys understand me you know what i'm trying to say but yeah please do like please do comment and please do subscribe i will see you on the next video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video love you guys to the moon and back and to the moon again and back and all of that and all of that you guys know how it goes